let us concentrate on that case of hydrostatic force on vertical wall or rectangular cross we have found out the net force acting on the wall what was the net force pressure at the center of the area multiplied by the area itself okay now we will find out the line of action of that force and you know to how to find out line of action of the force you need the concept of torque so here we go so that is the this is the vertical wall and we have to find out the line of action of the net force net force we have calculated it but so which line it acts suppose the line of action of uh, weight acting on a body is through the center of gravity so how do uh, find out that line of action of the force center of gravity thing is very simple suppose we consider a body like this and you consider the say particle 1 particle 2 particle 3 like this so the weight of particle 1 is w1 downward weight of particle 2 is w2 and weight of particle 3 is w3 and so on suppose it is comprised of n such particles huge number of particles and uh, we want to find out line of action of the force line of action of weight suppose it is in uniform gravitational field so w1 is equal to m1g say m1 is mass of particle 1 so m1g w2 is equal to m2g w3 is equal to m3g now to find line of action of this force consider any point outside say point o and we calculate torque and after that uh, we replace this whole force this is the same thing we have drawn here we replace this whole thing by the total weight w is total mass into g so that is the that is how we define cg center of gravity after discussing briefly center of gravity we will come back to that problem so that's it this is point o and this is the x uh, bar so x bar is distance of the line of action of the weight from the point o so this w is the total weight so w is this w1 plus w2 plus w3 plus so on so that n is m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus so on so we will equate the torque that means so instead of having all these forces distributed forces we have this single force which produces the same torque about o that's the concept of the line of action line of action ha happens for a distributed force only so for this one the distance is say x1 and for this one Say the distance is x2, and for three, the distance is x3, and so on. X1, x2, x3, x4 up to xn. So we will equate the torque. Torque about O of this distributed force W1, W2, W3. We will equate it to torque. Torque with respect to O of this total force. Then the line of action will have a distance x bar from o so x1 w1 let's start uh, plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 like this is equal to x bar multiplied by w so what is x bar so x bar is the x coordinate of the center of gravity so it is uh, x1 w1 plus x2 w2 Plus divided by W, and as C G is constant, so you can replace as this W one is M one G W two is M two G and W is capital M into G and G will cancel out. 
if the body is so large that it extends from the earth to the moon, then obviously G is not constant. Uh, then you will get a different value. But for if G is constant, then you get this x1 m1 plus x2 m2 plus so on divided by the total mass m. So it is see x bar the distance of center of gravity is equal to distance of center of mass. If g is constant then uh, it happens cg is equal to cm. However, let us get back to this problem where the where is the line of action of the net force acting on this vertical wall. So as you know the net force uh, say the line of action of the net force has a distance y bar from the free surface of the liquid. It has a distance y bar from the free surface of the liquid. Now, so the torque will equate the torque. Let us draw the distributed forces also, then only we can equate. So, the same diagram will draw the distributed forces. So, that is y uh, dy for the this case of the rectangle, right? So, here as we will calculate torque from this point, say this is the point O. This is the point or this is the line O diagram. So torque of this single force, if you make it pass through this line, this is the line of action of this net force, this is y bar. Torque due to this force, we can equate uh, it with the torque due to the distributed force from point O or the line passing through O, the line perpendicular to the plane of the board. Now, so torque due to this, so integration of y dy is equal to y bar times f. In this case, df, if you remember, df is y rho g times dA, which is d dy, is equal to y bar multiplied by f. What was f? rho g h by 2 multiplied by dh pressure at the center of area multiplied by the total weighted area so just uh, put the limits of integration 0 to 8 so here you have y y and y square so rho g d will come outside the integration side so integral y square dy y cube by 3 that is h h cube divided by 3 is equal to y bar multiplied by rho g h square d divided by 2. Now calculate y bar from here that will come out to be 2 h by 3. So the this is the distance of the line of action of the net force acting on the vertical wall from the free surface of the liquid. It is 2h by 3. That means it is here. Y bar is 2h by 3. So from the base, the distance is one third of the height. Now, uh, this was for the rectangular surface, but now we will generalize this concept. If the surface is not rectangular, it may be a part of a triangle or a semicircular one as we have discussed in the previous case. So in general, here uh, we can keep the same diagram, just remove this uh, bar, so this is the net force and df, here also we can keep the same diagram. Just from the front view, the thing will change. So, same thing. 
from the front view, this will get different area. So that's uh, see. This is Y. Distance from the free surface, and the area of the strip happens to be dA, and the force dA, as shown in the figure here. As you are looking from this side, from the front, so df, df will point towards you, perpendicular to the plane of the board. Right. Now, what about the torque? So integral y df is equal to y bar into f. Now, what was f? If you remember it, f was equal to rho g. yc multiplied by a. What is a? a is a total weighted area. That means if you shape this area, this, uh, this shaded area is a, this total weighted area a. And what is yc? yc is the y coordinate of the centroid of this area. Now, uh, we will calculate that torque now. So, from this equation, integral y df. df is y rho g times dA is equal to y bar multiplied by rho g yc multiplied by d. Yeah, and this rho g will cancel out. Rho g will cancel out. So y bar, y bar, distance of line of action of the net force is equal to integral This one. So integral y square dA divided by yc multiplied by a. Okay. 